Data is often scattered in many places. You may store customer tables in BigQuery while your sales tables live in Cloud SQL. Nonetheless, it is important to be able to join these tables together when performing analysis. Cloud SQL Federation from BigQuery enables you to analyze data residing in Cloud SQL in real time without copying or moving data. It supports both MySQL and Postgres instances in Cloud SQL. After an initial one-time setup, you can write queries referencing connected Cloud SQL tables using a special SQL function called external query. Let's walk through the steps to complete the initial setup and then run an example query. Step one, enable the BigQuery connection service. Start in the Cloud Console and select the project that includes the Cloud SQL instance that you want to query. If you would like to start with the same Cloud SQL instance we are using in this quick start, you may pause the video and first follow the code lab linked in the description below. In this project, you will need to have both the BigQuery admin role and the Cloud SQL editor or Cloud SQL admin role. Use the left-hand menu to click on APIs and Services, click Enable APIs and Services, and then search for BigQuery Connection API. Click to enable. Step two, configure public IP connectivity for your Cloud SQL instance. Use the search bar to navigate to Cloud SQL. Click the instance name to open its details page. Select the Connections tab. Make sure the public IP checkbox is marked. While public IP connectivity is not as secure as private IP only, your instance will remain inaccessible from the public internet because you have not provided an authorized address. However, this will make it possible to connect to your instance from BigQuery. Click Save if you made changes. Step 3. Set up the Cloud SQL database connection in BigQuery. Use the search bar to navigate to BigQuery. Click Add Data and select External Data Source. Now you will provide the details needed to establish the connection resource. Choose your database type, in this case, MySQL. Give the connection ID a name. You will use this identifier when you are referencing the resource from a query. The location you choose must be compatible with your Cloud SQL region and your intended use within BigQuery. Since our Cloud SQL database is located in US Central 1, we will need to use the US multi-region location. More information on location compatibility is linked in the description below. Enter the full name of the Cloud SQL instance in the format of project ID, colon location ID, colon instance ID. You can find the instance ID on the details page of the Cloud SQL instance you want to query. For database name, enter the name of the database. Then enter the username and password for the database. Note, if these same user credentials are valid for other databases in the particular Cloud SQL instance, the connection will also allow queries over those additional databases through the same connection resource. Click Create Connection. You'll see the connection populate in the left-hand nav. Step 4. Grant permission to connection users. Select the connection in the left-hand nav and click Share Connection. Enter the user's address and select BigQuery Connection User, which gives the user the ability to query with the connection. Alternatively, you can give a user the role BigQuery Connection Admin, which allows them to create, manage, and share connections in addition to using them in queries. Now that we've completed the initial setup, let's see how to write queries over tables in the connected database. Our first query joins the Employees and Salaries tables, both in the Cloud SQL database, to analyze the average salary by year of hire. Querying over the external connection requires the external query function. The syntax of this function requires the connection ID, which you can find by selecting the connection and looking in the details. Next is a string of the query in the external database's SQL dialect. Note that when querying a Cloud SQL connection, BigQuery cannot predict the amount of data to be processed. You will only know after you run your query. When you hit Run, the query is executed in the external database in Cloud SQL. Next, let's see an example of joining a BigQuery table with a table in your Cloud SQL database. We have taken a snapshot of the salaries table and loaded it into BigQuery so that we can show joining data across BigQuery and Cloud SQL resources. The example query includes three parts. External query is used to select the employee number and hire date fields from the Cloud SQL employees table. Then, the results are joined by employee number with the salaries table which is located in BigQuery. Finally, the query calculates the average salary for employees in each hire year. Click Run, and after the query completes, you'll see the same results.
The cost of your queries will follow standard BigQuery pricing, either on demand based on the amount of data processed or as part of a flat rate model if that is applicable to your organization. You've just seen how to set up a Cloud SQL connection and query the connection using the external query function. For more information on federated queries with Cloud SQL, please navigate to the documentation linked below. Happy analyzing!